Hello and welcome to the France 24 interview. Today, former French General Vincent Desportes has joined us on set. He'll give us his expert insight on the war in Mali. France has over 2,000 men deployed in Mali and is spearheading an international military effort to root jihadist groups out of the country. So can France win this war? And are its African partners up to the task? Those are the questions we'll be putting to our guest throughout his career. He has been deployed with combat units in Afghanistan, in Ivory Coast, in the Balkans. Uh, more recently, he has been commander of the French War College here in Paris, and he has also advised diplomats and politicians. In the past, he's also been critical of the American military strategy in Afghanistan. General, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. My first question to you. When we look at what's happening in Mali, it's difficult not to think back to Afghanistan 10 years ago. Western troops were deploying there. After 10 years of a war, at great financial and human cost, Western countries are leaving Afghanistan without having been able to root out the Taliban and all the terrorist groups in that country. So, as far as Mali is concerned, let me ask you this. Is this specific war winnable? I think I think so. It is winnable. It is not a matter of days, obviously. It is not a matter of months. It is a matter of years. But it is winnable. The situation is pretty different. The, uh, the, the countryside is very, very different. It's not a mountainous countryside. And we are going to fight in the desert, you know, where all... It's vast, mostly flat, arid land. Exactly. What I mean is that our technology is, is going to give us a huge advantage uh, against our adversary. But it is a war, and war is always very difficult. And we will have surprises, we will, we will have difficulties, but I think that at the end, the coalition, it's not a French war, it's an African war, but the coalition is going to win, because it is absolutely necessary that we win. But it right is... now, France is doing most of the fighting. Exactly, but we, 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 we were the, we were the firemen, and we had to act. You we had to put out the fire as the exactly. firemen. Exactly. We, we were responsible for that, you know. Uh, it, 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 we had to act and to stop this, uh, the advance of the jihadists. We did it. But now we have to stay. We have to gather all the African uh, units and we, we have to, to make with them a current operational unit. And it will take time. What do you make of the first week or 10 days of this war? Have there been any surprises from your point of view or does the information you have for the moment, is that suggesting a, a rather positive outcome or is it suggesting many difficulties to come? The, the first thing we can see is the capacities of the French military. In a few in a matter of hours, we were able to send troops and to block the advance. And after a few days, we, we, took, we took back the towns uh, that, uh, that was taken before by, 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 by the jihadists. So we see that the French military is a very professional one, able to respond very quickly when there is a new threat. Obviously, we, we, we had, say, some small surprises. Uh, the, the, the town of uh, Jabali was taken back by the jihadists and so on. But it is, war is just like that. But we, we can see, obviously, we are prevailing. We are prevailing and we are doing what our president asked us to do, to block the line in order to prepare the African troops to go, uh, to go, to go, to go far north. Uh, can France sustain its military effort in terms of military equipment, in terms of finances? I mean, thinking back to the uh, French military uh, uh, contribution to the uh, war in, in Libya last year, it was said that, that, that France's ammunition stock had been severely depleted. You're perfectly right. You're perfectly right. And uh, now the, the, the French military is very thin. You know, it, we have no strategic uh, sickness. So we, we fought a, a war pretty long in Libya, and uh, our, our stockpile of ammunition must have been uh, recompleted next December, you know, and now we are beginning a new war. But obviously, this new war, we will, uh, we, we will need less uh, air ammunition that, that in, uh, that, than in Libya. But it is sure that uh, the French budget is, ca cannot support this war for long. So we need, we need the help of European countries. We need the help of Japan. There is a donor, a donor conference in, uh, at the end of this month. At the month. end of the month, yes. And France is waiting for the help of the other countries 
and for, with planes, with soldiers, and obviously with money uh, in order to equip the troops, the African troops, and to, to help us to, to get more ammunition, more fuel, to be able to, to fight this war. We need help, because it is not our war. It is a, a war for everybody not wanting the jihadists to prevail. You were saying earlier on in this interview, just moments ago, you said it's going to take years. Yes, surely, surely. For two reasons. First, first, war is not a battle. War is different from a battle, you know. Uh, what, what is, war is about the peace, and uh, we, we have two, two... War is about achieving peace, and it's achieving. going to take years to achieve peace? Exactly, exactly. As you know, there is two different issues at stake today. There is the jihadist issue, with the uh, rebels movement, and there is a Tuareg issue. That is, there are two different issues, and we have to solve both. We have to. But the uh, French troops are currently not fighting the, the Tuareg rebellion in obviously, the north. No, I, no, I say there is two different problems. It is not the matter, we are not going to fight the Tuaregs, but there is a Tuareg problem for decades, for decades. And uh, if there is a war currently in Mali, it is uh, because the Ma Ma Mali is not a very strong country, you know, and there is always a struggle between the north and the south. And we have, we have the, the international community has to settle this, uh, this issue in order to install a permanent peace. What's your assessment of the, Fre of the, excuse me, the African troops? You have told us repeatedly during this interview this is not a French war. African troops are going to have to take responsibility. Do they have the skill level to fight the jihadists in northern Mali and to hold ground? Today, obviously, no. We have to, to equip them. They are not fully equipped. They are not sufficient equipment to fight this war. We have to train them and, and we have to, to make with all these different contingents a crazy a coherent, a coherent operational unit. And I, I would add that they, they are not, they don't know how to fight in the desert. So all those troops are coming from, from the, Gulf, the, the, the Gulf of Guinea. Much greener states, whereas yeah, they're going to fight in the exactly. desert. Is that an important factor? Obviously, obviously. We, of, uh, hopefully, we have the, uh, the Chadian, the soldiers from Chad that are coming, and so soldiers from Niger that are coming too, that know how to fight they're in the desert. They're accustomed to, the, to desert fighting. Yeah, yeah, obviously, obviously. But for, for the, uh, the, the, the black, black uh, military coming from the, from the, the coast of Guinea... From sub-Saharan Africa. Yeah, they, they, they know how to fight in the forest, in the very humid forest, you know, but they very rarely fight in the north, so we have to train them too. And I would add that uh, usually we, th these troops went to fight, but usually in a peacekeeping operation. And now this war is an, a, a, another issue. They have to fight, to attack, to destroy, going right. north. Right, it's an know. offensive operation. It's an offensive operation. It is very, very different. And when you say that uh, some of these African contingents, basically all of them apart from Niger and Chad, have to be trained, I yeah. mean, this just sets alarm bells ringing, because let's take again the, the Afghan example. It has taken 10 years to build up some sort of, of uh, semblance of Afghan security forces, both the military and the police combined. Is it going to take that long to train no, up the no, African surely, forces? No, surely not, but it, it is surely an issue. But it will take uh, uh, much less than in Afghanistan, but it will take more, obviously. But yeah, I, I remember that we are training these armies for, for decades. We, we have a military advisor in all these capitals. We are uh, working with them. They have part of their equipment is, is uh, uh, from, the French, from the French industry and so on. So we know them very well, much, much more than we knew the uh, Afghan military. They speak French, they knew our doctrine, and they know our, our, our doctrine and so on. So it will be much easier, but it will take a lot of work, a lot of equipment, and a lot of time. Now, I'm sure you've been looking at, at maps and at the battleground pretty keenly. What is your... give us a sense of what's going to happen over the next few weeks or months. Nothing in the next weeks. We have to just... Nothing's to, going to happen in the next it, few it, weeks. No, nothing. We have to settle the line and to train the troops. But at the same time... So you don't see the troops pushing up north no, in the next no, few weeks? For the moment, it's just a matter of making oh, yeah, sure they oh, don't push sure, down south. Sure. We remember that the European Union planned to train the uh, MISMA force, and, to, uh, and this force was going to go to war in next September. And in fact, this calendar did not change. It is impossible to fight immediately. We, we can't, the, the French military, we can't send the different contingents one after the other. You know? So it will, it will take time. 
we are going to, to do something during this time. We have to, to, seal, to seal the borders. With Mauritania, with Niger, with and Algeria. With Algeria, in order to keep the threat inside the north of Mali. And we have to, uh, to strike them with air strikes, to, uh, with helicopter strike. To, uh, and the airstrikes are ongoing against their command centers, their yeah, training centers. Absolutely. Just briefly, General, what about the French Special Forces? We understand that they're the ones who are pushing the farthest and taking the fight to the enemy. Yes, are they, they not did. going to be going up north in the next few weeks? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Surely they are going. We need a human intelligence, you know. We need a lot of human intelligence because I, aerial intelligence is not enough. So I am sure that we are going to send helicopters or troops on the ground to get these pieces of information and to, and to know where we have to, to, to strike, but no right. major operation by special forces in the north for months. All right. General Vincent Desportes, thank you very much for joining us on the set of the France 24 interview. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to France 24. More news coming up. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.